All righty. So for Mounts chapter 12, we deal with the, uh, the forms of altas, which are the third person pronouns. This is the way we say he, she, it, they, men, they, women, they, neuter people. Okay. Now, uh, we don't really need to spend a lot of time on this. I really just want to recite these with you because you already know these forms. You've been given them in your lexicon. So let's just walk through the forms of the masculine, uh, masculine uh, third person pronoun for he or the, they, uh, if it's plural. So everybody, altas, altu, alto, altan. So that's he, uh, of him or his, to him and him. Okay, so we went through these type of translation values for uh, I and you. Over here, altoi. Altoin, Altois, Altus. All right. What declension pattern does the masculine follow? The second. And all the case endings are the ones you know for the second declension noun logos, right? So this is good. Feminine forms, everybody. Alte, Altais, Alte, Altain. So she, her, to her, her, right? Now, uh, altai, altone, altais, altas. What declension pattern does she follow? It's first declension. And again, these are all the same declension uh, pattern um, case endings you know. And the, the nominative one is always zero, nothing uh, in the feminine first declension. And then the neuters, everybody, alta, altu, alto, alta. Neuters are the same in which cases? Nominative and accusative. Good. And notice that just like the article, we ha do not have a new on the end of the neuter singular. Nominative and accusative. Ta, right? Ta and alta. Okay. And then alta, alton, altois, alta. Again, notice nominative and accusative are the same. Notice that dative and genitive, or genitive and dative here, are identical to the masculine forms, right? These are hitting some of the noun rules that we've learned. Okay, so those are the forms of the third person pronouns. So with the handout that you have called the three uses of the word altas, what we learn is that altas can function as the third person pronoun, but it also has two distinct and important uses in the Greek New Testament. These uses are adjectival. They are adjectival uses. So when they function as adjectives, they will not be functioning as the pronoun that you've learned, and they'll have a, a different meaning. So I like to, to uh, use this as a, a kind of flowchart here for thinking about the possibilities for how autos could be functioning. So your two possibilities are, it's either the pronoun or it's the adjective, okay? If it's the pronoun, uh, how's it going to work? Well, if it's the pronoun, it's, its meaning will be he, she, it, or they, but grammatically there will be no noun for the pronoun form of altas to agree with in case, gender, and number, because pronouns do what? They replace a noun. They function like a noun. Anything a noun can do, a pronoun can do. A noun can be a subject, so it can be a pronoun, right? So look at this, uh, this example sentence. Agapo altan. Here is my form of altas, and notice that there's no noun that altan accompanies and agrees with in case, gender, or number, because it is the noun for all intents and purposes. It's a pronoun. I love him. Why is it accusative case? Because its function is as the direct object. Why is it masculine? Well, because the pronoun replaces conceptually a masculine noun. Why is it singular? Because that noun is also singular. Okay? All right. So you know the pronoun use. That's, that's intuitive. What about the adjective uses? When a noun, when a word functions as an adjective, then that means that it's modifying what? A noun. So in my head, I've got to have some noun that the adjective use of altas 
is somehow qualifying, modifying. Okay? So, adjective uh, use of atas will usually be with a noun, and the question is going to be, is it in the attributive or the predicate position? Because nouns, uh, excuse me, adjectives will be in one of those two uh, positions. So, when my adjective form of altas is the identical adjective, it will be in what's called the attributive position. And if something's identical, it's the same. Twins are identical, they look the same. So when you see what's called an identical adjective, you want to translate that as the same whatever the noun is that altas is modifying. So take a look at this example. Agapo tan autan anthropon. I love the autan man. Now, if you get mixed up and think that that's the pronoun use of autas, you've got some trouble, don't you? Because you're going to try to translate that as I love the him man, which makes no sense. The issue here is that I have an accusative, singular, and masculine noun, and autan is also accusative, singular, and masculine because it's not a noun, it's an adjective. It's modifying this noun, okay? Now, the issue here is what position is it in? Well, is the adjective altan here, is it articular? Yes, that is what attributive adjectives can do. Attributive adjectives can be sandwiched in between the article and the noun, and so the adjective, when it's attributive, can be articular. And I'm going to translate this as the same man. All right? Now, what determines the case of autos here as being accusative? No, the article doesn't so much determine its case. The noun that it modifies. Remember, attributive adjectives have to agree with their noun in what ways? Case, gender, and number. So if the noun it modifies is accusative, then this has got to be committed to accusative case too. Okay? If it's singular, altas will be singular. If it's masculine, altas will be masculine. All right? So just, just for fun, you learned gune is woman. The accusative of that word is gunai ka. Okay? Gunai ka. What would have to happen to Tan Ao Tan here if it's I love the same woman? Mm -hmm. It'll be Tain, and then Al Tan would become Al Tain, right? It's got to become feminine singular accusative to match Gunaika as a feminine accusative, accusative feminine singular form. Okay? So you see how that works? Uh, it does not mean I love the her woman, okay? Because, this, again, this is not a pronoun. Okay, the intensive adjectival use of altas, again, it's functioning as an adjective, uh, is going to be translated as the noun himself, herself, itself, or themselves, okay? The difference here is going to be that it's going to be in the predicate position, not the attributive position. When a noun is in the predicate position, that situation is uh, going to be that the adjective is anarthrous. The adjective is anarthrous, and it will come either before the noun or after the noun, but it will not have the article, all right? So look at uh, example here, and I'm, I'm using uh, agapo, I love, tan anthropon, al tan. So here is my noun, anthropon. Here is al tan, adjective. Now, if I tried to translate this or, or assume that Altan here is the pronoun, it would mean, I love the man him. Again, that doesn't make sense, right? What is this saying here? Since the Altan is functioning as an adjective, it agrees with its noun in what ways? Case, gender, and number. Tan, anthropon, accusative, singular, masculine. Altan, accusative, singular, masculine. But it's in the predicate position because it's anarthrous then I need to translate this as the intensive use of the adjective. It's, I love the man himself, okay? And I could also put Altan in front of the noun, as long as it's anarthrous, uh, and it would be the same thing, 
Agapo, I love. Autan tan anthropon. And still, I love the man himself. All right? So, that's your little flow chart. So, let's take this next handout that you have, and we'll walk through these uh, examples and just practice what we've learned, okay? Okay, so what we want to do is for these sentences, uh, I've given you uh, some of it in English to, to move quicker and just really drill the points of grammar here. Um, we want to identify the, the use of the form altas. So uh, we'll label it, is it a pronoun or... If it's an adjectival use, is it the um, the uh, adjectival intensive, or is it the identical adjective? Okay. So, uh, and then we'll translate the rest of the sentences here. So let's start with number one. I have altas estin ha anthropas. Huh. Is the word altas right beside some noun that it agrees with in case gender number? No. So what use of altas might this be? This might be the pronoun. And how would I translate a masculine singular pronoun, altas? So he is the man. Okay? So he is the man. Number two. Ha altas anthropos is an alien. The He-Man is an alien. Ah, are you sure this is the same man? Okay. Why would you go with the same man and treat this as an identical adjective? Ah, it's an attributive position. It is articular. That's right. And by the way, in terms of translating the identical adjective... If you just tried to translate um, the intensive adjective in the order that it occurs here, it wouldn't make very good sense, would it? The himself man is an alien, right? Uh, but, but the identical adjective use, as, as an English uh, translation, same, uh, makes really good sense when you translate this in the same word order. So the same man, okay? The altas man, the same man. Number three, ha anthropos altas is an alien. What position is altas here in? It's in the predicate position. So this is attributive position. This is predicate position. They are beside nouns that they agree with in case gender number, right? Yes. Okay, so this is an adjective use. And which of the two? The predicate position tells me it's intensive. I'm going to translate this as the man himself is an alien. All right. Now let's look at number four. I love Tan Patera Altu. Is this Altas here, this form, next to a noun? It does it share the case, gender, and number of that noun? It do not. Okay. So can this be an adjectival use? No. It's only an adjectival use if it matches a noun and case, gender, number. So this must be. A pronoun use. And I'm going to translate this as, I love the father of him, which is another way of saying his father, right? You all see that? Okay. Number five, I love Altan Tan Patera. Does this form of Altas occur next to a noun? Yes. Does it agree in case, gender, and number? Yes, they're all accusative, singular, masculine. Might this be an adjectival use? Yes. Ah, now I've got to ask, if it's an adjective, which of the two? It's in what position? Predicate. There's no article. It's anarthrous. Okay, so predicate position tells me it's the intensive use. So, I love the father himself. See how we did that? It's next to Tan Patera. So it can go before or after, right? As adjectives can. So I'm looking for a noun that it's anchored to if it's an adjective. 
Now for six, I love Tan Al Tan Patera. Is the form of Altas matching a noun's case gender number? Yes, that is an adjective. What kind of position? It's articular, so it's attributive, and this makes it which one? Identical. So I love the same father. Okay, good. Num well, what you're looking for is a noun, okay? Now, the noun will usually have an article, right? But, but the thing you're looking for is a noun because the function of an adjective is to modify a noun. So if I want to know, is that an adjective? I got I to gotta ask myself, is there a noun that it's next to? And when I say next to, I mean like article noun and then the adjective or article adjective noun or adjective article noun. But it's got to be like beside that thing some way. Patera is the noun. What's that? Oh, it doesn't have to because patera, this is, remember, this is a third declension noun. So the alpha in a third declension noun is accusative singular masculine, right? Remember, I, m I mentioned this uh, last week and, and the week before. When I have adjectives and articles that accompany a noun, the noun might be third declension, but the article is always going to be first or second declension, right? So the declension patterns don't have to match. The gender number and case endings have to match. Okay? So ton is accusative masculine singular. Alton is accusative masculine singular. Patera is accusative masculine singular. Okay? All right. No. Yeah, and, and if it were a second, it'd be tan patera, tan al tan, right? Yeah. So so here you're going to see it sandwiched in between. Okay, real quickly, number seven, su al tas are the light of the world. What am I looking at here? Okay, this is you singular and al tas. Is that a pronoun? Hmm. Does this form of altas occur next to something that it could modify? Okay, yes. Now, I've been jumping up and down about nouns, but here it's next to a pronoun, isn't it? Now, if I, if I assume that this is a pronoun, then I've got a problem. I've got you, he, are the light of the world. Well, what's you, he mean? You, he doesn't mean anything, <laughs> Okay. Uh, this is rather an adjectival use of altas, and it is what case gender and number? Nominative, singular, and masculine. Now, why is it nominative and singular? It's modifying the subject su, and su is nominative and masculine, uh, nominative and singular, right? Why is it masculine? Well, I mean, it, it's, it is masculine because altas is masculine, but why did I choose a masculine form? Because the you is conceptually masculine in whatever context I mean it. So I'm looking at Keith, Heath, I'm sorry, I'm looking at Heath, and I'm saying Heath, su altas are the light of the world, because I'm talking to a man you, okay? But if I were talking to a woman, Mary... Su alte, number eight, are the light of the world. This is nominative, and it's singular, but it's feminine. Why? Because as an adjectival use, the su I'm talking to is a woman. Okay? Now, here's the question. Which adjectival use do you think this can be? The pronouns never take the article, so I can't go based on that sort of thing. What, what's the only one that, that could make sense here? It's the intensive use in both cases. 
I'm not saying the same you are the light of the world, right? It's you yourself are the light of the world. Exactly. Okay. In both cases, because I don't distinguish the genders of you in English, I, I don't have a different translation for verse 8 compared to verse 7. Okay. Now, real quickly, let's wrap this up. We have 9, 10, 11. I sent a message to Alto Andri. I sent a message to. Now, uh, this is from on air. It's got an iota. That is date of singular. Alto, date of singular. To, date of singular. Is this next to. Is Altos next to a noun? And does it agree with it in case gender number? Absolutely. Ah, now I got to ask. What position is it? This is attributive, so it is identical. So the same man. Or actually, because of the date of case, to the same man. Now, to Andre Alto, here, it's all the same, except it's in a different position. It's predicate position, so this is the intensive. To the man himself and then i sent well it could be husband man right uh, and then lastly i have i sent a message alto there is no noun that alto accompanies so it's not the adjectival use it is the pronoun use so it just means i sent a message to him okay you see how easy this is it's so easy. Yes. All right.